Hey guys, before this video begins, I would like to thank all my new subscribers and anyone who watched my videos. I'm happy that so many of you enjoyed it and left comments. It was very nice to read and see, so I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Previously on Trying to Survive the Wild West. Last time we left off right when our entire base got burned down. We had to find a new place to resettle with Tex, Otto and Mishi. I chose somewhere close to the river so that we could utilize water mill generators and generate power that way. Once again I had to get the basics set up. A stock house and a lot of wood was needed to get everything done. I was lucky that Anna was a good constructor and Tex was a good planter, but we lost our chef and miner. There would be opportunities to save Glenn and Jock, but whenever those may arise we would not know. most important now would be making sure the baby doesn't starve to death. He can only eat baby food so we had to make sure that he got plenty of that. A transport crash with a familiar name landed. I was trying to remember where I knew this person from. And then I realized that this was one of Huntsman's people that he brought with him. Despite his bad stats, knowing that he was one of Huntsman's friends I decided to save him. And then I started work on the second iteration of the saloon. A couple days later a singular raider showed up. I wasn't too worried about this because he was only building a club. So I sent out Anna to kill him. And thanks to the help of Lin, the raider was quickly dealt with. Somehow, Mishi, despite not being a year old, decided to name our settlement, so I agreed to whatever name he came up with, because I was so impressed. A sad drifter needed to stay at our colony for 20 days. Feeling generous, I decided to accept this, but also knowing I could use the extra help. Looking at her stats, she was an excellent chef, which I desperately needed. Our last chef was Anno's wife, Argentine, who had tragically passed away, so I was happy to have a new one. She was a genie, which meant that she had some special characteristics, like being more susceptible to pain and damage, but being better at manipulating objects. A couple days later, a transport pod crashed with someone who had extremely good social skills. Glenn used to be the one who had the greatest skills in our colony, but now I didn't have anyone anymore. I desperately wanted to recruit him, but I realized that his ideology was very hard to convince him to mine. So, I had to capture him and then slowly work at it that way. A second raid showed up with two people. This was a little more intimidating than the last one, but still, nothing I thought I couldn't handle. Killing one raider was enough to send the other one fleeing, so we let him go. Our colony was enjoying a nice party, but looking at the relations it seems that Dex and Anno would never consolidate and become friends. Although Anno seemed to have an interest in the visitor. There was an ancient danger nearby and I was very curious what hid behind it. I figured I had enough people to safely open it up. It was filled with insects and I had to think quick. Knowing that Dex had the good recon armor, I had him take all the damage while the other guys were shooting at the insects. I was getting a little worried because he was really getting swarmed, but the armor seemed to be holding up while I slowly took out some of the insects. Surprisingly, he wasn't even that injured. The armor really did his job. So we went away before checking what was actually inside. I realized there was a whole lot of crypto sleep caskets which can contain alive enemies, sometimes dead or sometimes unconscious. But I figured I would heal up before opening these up. So I started by destroying the nest so I could get the insect jelly and not have to worry about it reproducing. 
In the meantime, I was setting up power back home. The water mill generators did a whole lot more than the wind generators, so I wouldn't have to worry about all the problems I had in the other colony. A couple of days later, when everyone was healed up, and right before our visitor was about to leave, I decided to open up all the crypto caskets. I let Ono do it, considering he was the fastest, so he ran in and grabbed the first one. As soon as the caskets were open, I realized what mistake I had made. Ono immediately got his head blown off and died. Usually these guys would be fighting each other or half of them would be dead, but it seemed like they all teamed up to fight my people. None of my cowboys were able to deal with these heavily armored space rangers, so they overwhelmed my people and quickly killed all of them. Not even Mishu was saved. His room was set on fire and he was left to die burning to death. The only one who actually was saved is the prisoner who walked off after being freed. This marks the end of the Wild West series. We didn't manage to survive because time caught up with us and modern technology ended up blowing off my head. Thank you guys for watching, there will be more series to follow.